David Bolton. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Can I first welcome the Foreign Secretary's statement and the decisive action being taken? Unfortunately, this follows a catalogue of actions being taken by the Chinese government to undermine international law. So could he confirm when the Chinese ambassador is summoned to the Foreign Office, we'll be bringing up not just this awful legislation, but also that catalogue of actions and making clear to the Chinese government that it can no longer be business as usual? Here, here. Well, can I thank the, uh, my honourable friend? And it is absolutely right that we will raise our concerns uh, in relation to the national security legislation right across the board. The Permanent Secretary will do that uh, with the Ambassador. Uh, our Consul General has done it with the Chief Executive. Um, I had close to an hour with Wang Yi, the Foreign Minister. Um, uh, I think it was the 8th of June, as I, as I previously said to the House. Uh, and of course, we talk about the full range of our relationship. We want a positive relationship with China. There are all sorts of opportunities there in relation, not just to trade, but also climate change uh, and COP26 coming up. But what we cannot do, what we cannot do, whether it's in relation to our national security or our values, is look the other way just because of its asymmetric power, think that we uh, uh, have to kowtow or have to uh, uh, um, duck or, or bow. We will not do that. We will not do that on the issue of Hong Kong and we will not do that wherever else our vital interests are at stake.